All right, next up, we're gonna machine this top counterboard for the big top flange of the sleeve. bottom flats and we're going to do that special um, flat section on cylinder one and cut all that nice and smooth and perfect to the exact depth that we might on the cylinder sleeves. All right, same procedure here with the finished boring head. We have our aluminum insert in it. We're gonna set it up for 10 thousandths less than our finished bore, and then we will feed in from there using the uh, indications on the back of the boring head for a perfect result. It's the same thing as the rubbing bore head, just only have one insert to worry about. Makes it a little easier. Putting this down, Let's swing it back and check it. Perfect. All right, indexing the spindle with the M19 code. And the way we have this program, we want the insert facing us because it's going to move in the Y positive direction come out of the hole so we don't make a little scratch mark from the boring bar.
measurements. Yeah, four and a half. Okay. Back. I believe it was plus or minus half, but I'm going to have to check the manual. We do hone a little bit too, just to give it a good finish for the O-rings. Looking good. final stretch so we have this half of the block done and this is what it looks like here on the other half ready to go together uh, I've taken and I've used our uh, plateau brush to brush these cylinder walls to give it a really good finish uh, we've taken a little bit of emery across the top on this chamfer that we machined in just to break any burrs or edges it's nice and smooth won't cut your finger won't cut the o-rings and now uh, we need to clean everything up and uh, we'll put the sleeves in. All right, so I've got the sleeves laid out here just the way they're gonna go in the block. There's little differences in some of the sleeves. Um, obviously the ones on the ends are, are round on half and flat on one side single flat or still flat and then on these you can see there's there's actually more holes on this side than this side and that is um, this this side goes on the outside of the block towards the um, exhaust help keep the exhaust side of the cylinder a little cooler so uh, we got I got everything uh, brake cleaned up uh, they take three of these little tiny o-rings on the bottom and these three grooves and, um, and then they supply a little uh, white grease that goes on them. And then at the top, it'll get uh, this anaerobic sealer. It's a flange, uh, flange adhesive that goes around the top and between the sleeves. It locks everything in place on the top and the bottom is sealed with O-ring. Uh, so let me get... Uh, Get all these prepped and we'll start putting them in. Oh, 
All right. So over here at the block, I like to put a little bit of flange adhesive up here where it's going to touch the block and rub it in as well just to make sure we got a good contact good adhesion let's put it together part on this side is keeping everything straight. The other side gets lined up with that flat that we cut. show you what I'm doing here these little holes right here are our alignment holes so I'm taking a lineup bar and I was working them as they were going in but we're gonna give them one final tweak to get them all squared up perfectly Beautiful. All right, now we take a BFH and an aluminum block and seat them all the way. <laughs> 